daylight saving time. Our twice a year tradition where we magically change time. One moment it's 1.59 a.m. and then bam, 3 a.m. Or if it's the fall, we're gifted an extra hour to sleep in and pretend we have our lives together. But how exactly does this time-bending ritual work and why do we still do it? Let's dig into the mystery of daylight saving time, or DST if you're in a hurry, and find out how we got into this clock-changing madness. Okay, first things first, what is daylight saving time? Well, it's that thing where we push our clocks forward in the spring, making the evening longer. It's been around in the US since 1918. Yes, it's over 100 years old and somehow still kicking. But shout out to Hawaii and Arizona for opting out of this clock-changing circus. More on those rebels later. The OG reason for daylight saving time? To squeeze more daylight into the evenings, which apparently was meant to save energy. But in 2020, studies came out and said, yeah, maybe not so much on the energy savings. So why are we still doing this? Even though the energy saving claim might be a bit shaky, we still switch those clocks for about 65% of the year. But here's the thing, it messes with our sleep. Thanks a lot, daylight saving time. Your internal body clock, completely thrown off. And don't get me started on that groggy Monday after we spring forward. Here's where things get personal. Daylight saving time messes with our sleep big time. Around 55% of adults feel like they got hit by a truck after the spring time change. Why? Our bodies and even our pets, shout out to confused dogs everywhere, run on internal clocks that sync with daylight. So when we mess with that, it's like our sleep schedule gets hit with a plot twist. Pro tip, stick to your regular sleep schedule even if you're tempted to scroll through TikTok for just five more minutes. You're not fooling anyone. Now let's talk about the infamous spring forward. On the second Sunday in March, we jump ahead by an hour. It's like time travel, but with less excitement and more groaning. Suddenly, the day only has 23 hours, and we're all walking around like zombies, losing about 40 minutes of precious sleep the next day. Yay! But hey, silver lining. We get an extra hour of daylight in the evening. So... You know, more time to take evening strolls, garden, or awkwardly sit on your porch pretending to enjoy nature. The key takeaway here, sleep less, bask in the evening sun more. Then comes the glorious fall back in November when we get our hour back. Sweet revenge, right? That extra 60 minutes of sleep feels like a gift from the universe. But don't get too comfy. Those long sunny summer days are over and winter's darker, shorter days are here to ruin our vibe. We say goodbye to daylight saving time in the fall and return to standard time, where it's darker earlier. But hey, at least you can enjoy those earlier sunrises. Well, unless you're a night owl, in which case I've got nothing for you. Let's take a quick time traveling detour. Some credit Benjamin Franklin for the idea of daylight saving time, thanks to an essay he wrote in 1784. Fast forward to 1966, when the Uniform Time Act set the current daylight saving time rules. States can opt out, cue Arizona and Hawaii, the cool kids who said, nah, we're good. Congress has tweaked DST over the years, extending it to 34 weeks in 2005. That's 65% of the year. Whether we like it or not, DST has stuck around. For now. Spoiler alert, DST doesn't actually change how long the sun shines. It just changes when we see it. So, while it feels like you're getting longer evenings, the sun's just doing its usual thing. DST just shifts our perception of time. So yeah, we don't actually add any extra daylight, we just push it to a later slot, like moving an early meeting to 4 p.m. because no one wants to deal with it first thing in the morning. So how does this time jumping act work practically? Simple. In March, we push clocks forward by one hour at 2 a.m. So it magically becomes 3 a.m. Then in November, we do the opposite. Set those bad boys back an hour and suddenly it's 1 a.m. again. No, it's not magic, just the universe messing with us. And it happens like clockwork, literally every single year. But it's not universal. Hawaii and Arizona, and a few territories, skip DST entirely. They're living their best lives without worrying about clock changes or losing sleep. We should all be so lucky. So, here we are, still living with daylight saving time, a century-old idea meant to save energy, which might not actually do that anymore. But for now, twice a year, we'll keep messing with our clocks and our sleep. Will DST ever end? Maybe. Until then, get ready to spring forward, fall back, and complain about it every time. All right, time to adjust those clock again. And remember, whether you love or hate DST, at least it gives us one more thing to debate over while losing sleep. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button if you need a nap after this video.